Welcome back to our channel, folks. Today, we have a fascinating journey into the past as we explore a vintage Victorian photo album that offers a gentleman's guide to self-defense maneuvers from the year 1895. Get ready to be amazed by the hidden secrets of the past. This untitled album from the 1890s is a treasure trove of rare photographs capturing various self-defense hand-to-hand maneuvers. The two gentlemen in these finely dressed photographs showcase a wide range of defensive moves that were used back in the day. From chokeholds to body slams, kicks to chops, and arm twists to downright bizarre techniques, these photographs depict the moment of confrontation followed by the appropriate maneuver. It's like stepping into a time machine and witnessing the evolution of self-defense right before your eyes. But this album is more than just a collection of intriguing photographs. It provides a glimpse into the late Victorian era and the pedagogical potential of photography during that time. Thousands of people turned to photography as a means of learning, and this album is a perfect example of that. Self-defense is a concept as old as humanity itself. Even the earliest humans had to learn how to protect themselves and pass on their strategies to others. Over time, self-defense evolved into various forms, including martial arts. Martial arts, regardless of their cultural origins, share a common objective, to physically defeat an opponent or defend oneself from physical threats. Some martial arts are deeply rooted in spiritual or religious beliefs, like Buddhism, Taoism, or Shinto. Others have their own code of honor. While martial arts are often associated with East Asian cultures, they are not exclusive to Asia. In Europe, there was a rich tradition of combat martial arts known as historical European martial arts, which are now being reconstructed by several organizations. The Americas also have their own unique martial arts traditions. Native Americans practiced open-handed martial arts, including wrestling, while Hawaiians specialized in joint manipulation techniques. And let's not forget capoeira, a Brazilian martial art with African influences. Each martial art has its own distinct characteristics, but they all share one thing in common, the systemization of fighting techniques. Training methods can vary, from sparring to forms or routines of techniques performed alone or with a partner. The term martial comes from Mars, the Roman god of war. Martial arts literally means arts of Mars. In fact, the term was originally used by 15th century Europeans to refer to their own fighting arts, now known as historical European martial arts. So, get ready to immerse yourself in the ancient art of Victorian self-defense. We'll take you on a journey through time, exploring the fascinating world of these vintage photographs. Stay tuned for more intriguing stories from the past, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, folks. Photo credit, Metropolitan Museum of Art.